welcome to another episode of Behind the Panel. Pat Booth, uh, Business Development Manager for LeGrand Brands here at uh, Exerter Salem Mall. Special guest today, we have on Mr. Todd Heberlein, who is my counterpart, Business Development Manager for our digital signage uh, and a bunch of other hats that he wears for the company, which I'm not sure. He looks great in a hat and he wears a lot of them. <laughs> well, thanks. I, You know, it's a hair loss that makes me wear a lot of them. Uh, I can't comment on that. Every time I lose a little up here, it grows down here. So uh, <laughs> it's the natural progression of things for me. So Todd is, is our digital signage guru here. Literally will, he will forget more about digital signage than I'll ever know in my entire lifetime. So wanted to bring Todd in. I just uh, completed an article that uh, as of this filming was published today, talking a little bit about accessories in the digital signage marketplace. So um, before we get into that, Todd, um, What's new in digital signage? The term's thrown around a lot, and it's it's uh, seems to have a lot of uses. What what is what is new? What's the latest and greatest about digital signage that that you find? You know, I I think newness is kind of one of those things where ev everything's getting bigger, right? We all know something's things are getting bigger. Um, where we used to see you know fifty five inch displays, we're seeing now one hundred and ten inch displays in boardrooms where we used to see maybe a video wall, we're seeing two hundred and seventeen inch LED walls. So um, that's obviously something that's new. It's always going to be growing. Uh, the other thing is integrations. Uh, a lot of times, you know, because digital signage has moved basically to the cloud, everything to the cloud, everybody's adding integrations to their cloud services. So when you have a digital signage where it used to be just, pushing images, pushing videos. It's now you can integrate with all these different third-party services, which makes uh, digital signage much more user-friendly. It also makes it much more where you can you can use it in different areas, such as call centers or even warehouses. Very, very cool. Um, what do you see in the future? What is going to change? What's coming down the pike, which will anything that you think is, is going to be a, a groundbreaking technology that is going to shake up digital signage? You know, I don't know if it's really groundbreaking. Um, we see BrightSign, who just introduced a multiple output player. That's something that was groundbreaking for them. They swore they would never do it. That was something that was nice to see. Um, they'll probably have another announcement coming up soon that something that I'd never thought they would see. But, uh, you know, honestly, the what we're moving to is just the, in, the ability to interact with the digital signage on your mobile device. Um, that's something that obviously everybody carries around a mobile device. A lot of times when you're doing digital signage, you're, you're sitting out of your computer, you're creating your content, you're pushing your content onto the, onto the screen. Um, there's a number of them that already do it, but I think you'll see that more and more where you'll be able to manage your content from your mobile device. Or honestly, there's some that are integrating with like, because Microsoft Teams and Zoom and all those uh, UC yeah. platforms have become so ubiquitous, We'll see the ability to manage your content directly from those, pushing a you know image to a, a Zoom group that then goes directly to your digital signage. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, really interesting to say that. How how long has have the apps been like a part of? I mean, are they kind of growing to where it's the predominant way that people are doing it now? Because let's face it, I mean, I can't order a burrito without going into an app and making sure that I get extra guac or free chips and cheese or something. So everything is app driven these days. How long has it been that way in the, the digital signage world? Well, you know, I, I, I can't really say um, how long it's been that way because things started going, you know, a long time ago, things started going HTML based. Right. People would still use it on their mobile device. However, it wasn't app driven. There are a number of providers that decided, you know what, we need to base this on an app. And they started adding that where you had kind of the mobile platform, you could download an app. Um, whereas there's some that some of your larger platforms were still resistant to doing that just because they had so much functionality built into it it was difficult to do it on an app. So they started introducing kind of a lighter version. And those lighter versions where you just want to push an image or a video up there, it makes sense to do it on your phone. So they introduced that app based, which may not be the full featured system, but it allows you to do kind of your basics. So it kind of, you know, I noticed it years ago. Um, there were a few different companies that that really introduced it to me, and I I honestly don't want to mention any names here just because I don't want to annoy anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, but it's been around. It's been around for a number of years. Probably um, the last couple of years, you've really seen a bigger push for it. Probably in the last four or five. Right, right. You have to forgive my ignorance. I rarely come out of the basement of the the accessories world. So you know, what I mean, I I deal with mounts and screens and 
exciting things like racks. So it's, it's, you know, <laughs> to actually talk about apps and, you know, we do have audio that we do that once in a while, but it's, it's, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of the, one of the smaller brands that we carry. So the, we don't the get dangerous to thing is there's so many different out there that it's hard yeah. to keep track of a lot. I think there's, you know, I, and I, I know at one point in time there were 600 different uh, digital signage software providers. There's more, well more than that now, and they're still growing. So we'll see changes and we'll see things that you never thought were going to be introduced, introduced in the next few years, I'm sure. Very cool. Well, in my article, I talked a little bit about, you know, just some of the things that you're going to need kind of the, the, like the nuts and bolts to, to, for lack of a better term, you know, your, your mounts, You've got cabling, you've got cable management, you've got um, power supplies, you know, power backups, depending on if, uh, you know, if your signage solution is something that can't come down, you got to look at, you know, UPS backups and things like that. Obviously, thermal management, if you're looking at a kiosk or an enclosure of some kind, um, and then network integration. So any anything else that you think is, is something that people really need to look at when you're, you're looking at digital signage, because everyone gets lost in the display, right? That's the that's the sexy piece of it that, you know, everyone wants the, the sees the finished product, but doesn't always understand everything that goes in uh, beyond that. I mean, you talked about a few things you, you can like outdoor products, like when you're doing outdoor, not only a lot of your media players. In fact, I don't know of any that are outdoor rated. So an outdoor box that kind of encloses a media player uh, to use with an outdoor display is something that, you know, would fit right along with your uh, either in a rack system, if you don't, if you do a rack system, you probably don't need that outdoor box. But if you're putting something right at the display, you need an outdoor box. Uh, right. The connectivity, you mentioned connectivity. I assume, you know, a lot of your uh, digital signage, it's run in an AV closet and then pushed over either AV over IP or even uh, something like HMI over uh, Twisted Payer, which you can call a number of different things, um, depending on whether you're one brand or another. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> HD base T, whatever. Uh, you know, so you have an encoder and a decoder on one right. aspect or just a transceiver and a receiver. Um, so those th those components are obviously part of the connectivity. Networking, networking is obviously, you mentioned that that's become so huge, typically was only done. In fact, that's how I got into digital signage was I knew a little bit about networking. So I kind of got pushed because nobody else in the company knew anything about networking. So I got pushed in the signage world. This was before AV was really network based. Nowadays, if you don't know anything about networking, you really can't do much with AV. Yeah. Uh, it's just the AV. So, um, you know, that the connectivity is a huge part of that. And we see a lot of people separating their networks where you'll have a company that'll have just a digital signage network, or they'll split off their AV network and have a digital signage portion of that. That's, I mean, that's how big it's become today. It's just huge. Yep. Well, one last uh, question for you. Um, and I've, I've been asking most of my guests this because I have a dream guest for behind the panel. And I know you played college football, so you're an athlete. Uh, do you know Nature Boy Ric Flair personally, and can you get him on behind the panel? <laughs> I do. I do not know Nature Boy Ric Flair. I, I don't have those sort of connections. I did work out with Hulk Hogan one time, though. Amazing. I mean, he he'd be a close second, but you know, he just doesn't have the woo like the. the <laughs> he doesn't have that kind of juice that we're looking to get here. So, you know, if you could spread the word, Todd, amongst any of your athlete friends that you know, if you happen to work out with Hulk again, tell him. Hey, we're looking for Nate to come on in and, you know, talk about teamwork <laughs> and building the four horsemen and whatnot. So I'd love it. That'd be awesome. Hey, Todd, I know you're a busy, busy, busy guy. Really appreciate you coming in and uh, hanging out, answering a few questions. And uh, we will see you, uh, see you at our E4 shows coming up. Great. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Todd.